from Los Angeles to a worldwide audience, this is Boaz Power TV, where we take your life to the next level. Now, internationally known speaker and author, here's Boaz. Hi, welcome to The Power Show. You are part of The Power Nation, and I'm so delighted that you're here because here we help you to improve your attitude, your relationships, your finances, and your career. This is episode number 58 on Boaz Power TV, and I call this one from 40 horses to 40 horsepower. The story is told a long time ago when the United States was just becoming a country, and in the middle part of the country, in the Tennessee Valley, horses had been used for many years to work the farms and to till the soil and so forth. And when the first tractor was delivered, it was a big to-do. I mean, people came from miles around to see this mechanical marvel, and they hooked up a plow to it and turned the tractor on, and the thing went up and down the field all on its own and turning the ground and doing a great job. But a couple of hours later, the thing sputtered and stopped. The tractor stopped, turned itself off, it sputtered and died. And so all the men tried to work on it and see what they could do, what was wrong with this new mechanical marvel. And nobody could figure it out, so finally somebody rode a horse to a nearby village where an engineer was there that had worked in the factory that had built the tractor. So he comes over, looks at the tractor, and a few minutes later turns to the crowd and say, did anybody put any fuel in here? What? Did anybody put any gas in the tractor when it ran out of gas? Lo and behold, the tractor ran out of fuel. And so I equate this story to us as people to running out of confidence, to running out of confidence. The big difference between some people accomplishing average and some people accomplishing a lot is some people just seem to have more confidence even if they don't really have it. They pretend. Somehow they just pretend. I know there are some times when I walk in front of an audience and I do over a hundred seminars a year worldwide that may be a little different situation and I may not feel all the confidence in the world, but I somehow have to perform. I remember there was a situation in Medora, South Dakota. This is in the western part of South Dakota. If you've never been, you've got to go. The Medora Foundation, they have the Theodore Roosevelt Foundation is what it is. They have an outdoor amphitheater that does a Broadway-like show during the summer. You have simply got to go. You simply have to go. But anyway, I was doing a seminar for many of their volunteers. They have a huge volunteer program. So in the audience one night, I have about 150 senior citizens. These are people in their 60s, 70s, 80s, some in their 90s. And I'm not used to an audience of senior citizens. And I'm thinking before I get introduced, oh my gosh, how do I handle this? I've never been in this kind of situation. I don't feel very confident that I can do a great job and give some great ideas to all these senior citizens. But you know what I do at a moment like that is what I learned from the Carnegie book, How to Stop Worrying and Start Living. If you have any kind of problems with worry, please get this book. It is phenomenal. How to Stop Worrying and Start Living by Dale Carnegie. So in it he says, when you're worried about something, ask yourself the following question. What are the odds? What are the odds? So in my situation in front of those senior citizens, before I got introduced, I asked myself, well, wait a minute, hold it, Boaz. You've done hundreds of seminars all over the years. What are the odds that you're going to bomb this time? What are the odds that you're not going to do good? Well, let me think back. Can I ever recall not doing well at a seminar? No. So what are the odds that I'm going to bomb tonight? Probably nil. So why don't I just go on and have a good time? What if you were to use that same phrase when you have a challenging moment and you don't feel much confidence? What are the odds that it would not go well? And if it did not go well, then Carnegie said, figure out what you would do to fix it. Write down what you would do to fix it. And that's one way to get over that problem. So I said to myself, what are the odds? Not very high. I can't remember the last time I bombed, so let's just go have a good time. And you know, once again, the event in Medora ended up being very successful. The people loved it. They absolutely loved what I did. So you see, I worried myself senseless at the beginning, a waste of emotions. And all I had to do was just pretend and say, what are the odds? And just say, I'm doing it. I'm doing it. And I used two words, which also helped me to gain confidence. It's showtime. It's showtime, which means no more negotiations. Just do it. Do your best. 
Just go do your best. So when you have a challenging moment and you may not feel much confidence, we need to fuel your mind with the right thoughts. Two words, it's showtime. It's showtime. And then just get on with it. Don't even think any further. Just start. What's the worst that could happen? And if something bad happened, as Carnegie said, then write down what you would do to fix it. So the affirmation for this episode of Boaz Power TV, write down, I am a confident person. I am a confident person. I know what some of you may be saying, wait a minute, Boaz, but I'm not. Okay, but would you like to be? Okay, so say what you want rather than what you don't want. So write that affirmation down, read it the first thing every morning and the last thing every night, put it on your bedstand and read it out loud. And in 30 days, you'll be amazed with how you will feel. You will become a confident person. I'm so delighted that you joined me. You know, one of the concepts I really want to work on with you is to help you become very strong, not only to have confidence emotionally, but also financially. A lot of people don't have confidence because their debts are way up to here and they don't know how to get out of it. Well, I've been there. I've been there. So here are some very basic points that I teach people to help you take your power back. Number one, lower your expenses. Lower your expenses. When I was going through financial difficulties, I lowered my expenses, lived in a more modest place for a while, and it helped tremendously. I drive a car that's eight or nine years old. It's totally paid for. I take good care of it. It looks like it's new, but I don't have car payments. So lower your expenses, pay off some debts, start with the smallest one first, and then pay in cash. And if you can't afford to pay in cash, don't buy it right now, okay? And then save some money. Some cash in the bank and a passbook gives you lots of confidence. I'm so delighted that you joined me. You are special, you are unique, you are destined for greatness, and I believe that you have a way of developing confidence by saying it's showtime. You are a champion. Have a powerful day. This has been Boaz Power TV. To comment, see other episodes, or to subscribe to this free broadcast, go to our blog at boazpower.com. That's boazpower.com. We're here to take your life to the next level.